everybody, and welcome back to the Unbiased Rugby Podcast. Brent, how are you doing? Good, thanks yourself, Matt. Oh, I can't complain, Super mate. excited, what are, we, what are we, three days away? Three days, yeah. mate. Oh, <laughs> can't wait. Good. This week good. is taking forever. It's been long, eh? It's been so long. I cannot yep. wait. I'm so excited. Opening game, France versus New Zealand. Friday, well, lunchtime for me. Friday night for you? Correct. Yeah. Quite late at night because they still got to do the World Cup opener. So it's going to be quite a late one for me. I think around 9 o'clock. 9 p.m. kickoff in France. Okay. Well, listen, I'm very excited. Um, I know a couple of things have happened over the last week. Uh, we, we spoke about it before. We'll get into all of it. Scott Barrett not getting sided. Uh, the injuries that France have got. Uh, the injuries that the All Blacks have got. Um, big opening game. From Super stoked. Eh? Second Brilliant. hardest pool in the competition. Um, I am still leaning towards the All Blacks for this game. Um, I just think they're going to be class. I mean, we spoke about it already. If you look at the uh, the last, you know, 10 games they've played over the last couple of years, New Zealand have won nine out of 10 games. Yeah. Um, France winning, obviously, the last game that they played in, in France in, was it 2021? Correct. Um, 40 points to 25. But other than that, the nine previous games, New Zealand won quite comfortably. Um, not that that's anything to go on. It was a completely different team. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I mean, New Zealand has had like a whole team restructure from like the 2015 World Cup and everything. Because, I mean, that's where France took one of their biggest losses. The last time they met at a World Cup was like in the quarterfinals. I think it was 62 odd. But yeah, um, it's going to be a, a cracker. It's going to be an absolute cracker. Super, super excited for this match. And it's it's definitely going to be one of the biggest opening matches ever. Yeah, uh, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Nothing will nothing will top this besides the final, I think. Um, and going into it, France have lost a couple of key players. I mean, Dante is out with a hamstring injury. Uh, Intermax obviously ruled out for the Dante's out just for the New Zealand game, as far as I know. Correct. But 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 Intermax out for the whole competition, and I mean he's a vital part of the French you know attack line. Definitely, um, he's an absolute beast in the middle. At, what, at inside centre, he's absolutely crazy. Are oh, you you talking about uh, Intermax or are you talking about Dante now? Both, absolutely both of them. <laughs> yeah. You know? no, they have lost two of their two of their key players, um, but the the sec, second flow off is also he's just as good. He does link up well with Dupont. I don't I don't see a problem there. I mean, he obviously doesn't have that amount of playing uh, game time with Dupont as what Intermac does. They don't click the the same. I don't think, but he does he does really well. I, we saw how they clicked when when they played their last game. Now um, cross kicking, yeah. everything works really well. Definitely. Look, they played that last that, that, that warm up against Australia, and I mean, yes, they won substantially, but I, I wasn't that impressed. Um, I, a yeah. lot of handling errors, a lot of you know stupid mistakes, a lot of. But I've always also said that, like, stupid example. If I go to the pub, I mean, I can play a mean game of pool, but if I go to the pub and play against someone extremely well, I tend to play better, and if I go play against someone trash, I tend to play worse. Obviously, yeah, it's referring like to that. Australia as trash at the moment, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. um, but but I think that just came down to a bit of, you know, who you're playing as an opposition. And I didn't see too much from them. Um, I mean, you were telling me before the game that you, you, you think there's a bit of mind games going on and you think that Dante might be in the starting lineup for this coming Friday. I reckon no one's really giving that... The honest opinion about what's going on when they say there's a niggle on the ham screen. I mean, how bad? How bad is it really? Are we are we really talking missing the All Blacks game? Because I mean, that, that would be huge. It would be absolutely um, massive. And then Matt, I don't know. It's 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 a different one, difficult one to call because I don't think that crowd is gonna. I think that crowd is gonna be extremely hostile towards new the All Blacks. I'm so excited. <laughs> Uh, I think it's going to put a lot of pressure, especially during the kicking time and that, that sort of period, because there's going to be a lot of booing in the stadium. So uh, Mawanga is going to be under a lot of pressure at number 10 there to make sure and, that he's putting over those threes. Yeah, well, and to, and to go back to that, he didn't do well with pressure against the Springboks uh, last weekend. That's exactly um, it. Um, you know, but he will, he's, he's weekend, usually someone that before. does thrive under pressure. I think that 
I think everyone was just a little bit shell shocked the last time they met the Springboks. I think so. Like I said, like we said in our in our in our you know post match little video that we did there, that that I'm not taking anything away from New Zealand. There's no reflection whatsoever on their ability to play the game, especially going yeah. into this World Cup. If anything, they are going to be more prepared now to face France than they would have been if they'd beaten us. Hundred um, percent. They know where they can be taken advantage of. They know more now, so how to stop that. Um, I think their biggest thing, obviously, will be discipline. You know, and, and I was thinking about it. You know, South Africa have gotten used to a lot more Northern Hemisphere referees playing in the UFC. Oh, yeah. we, and they do ref the game different. Northern Hemisphere refs and oh, Southern yeah. Hemisphere refs do ref the game different. So you do need to look at how the ref, you know, interprets the game. And, and I'm, you know, I'm not saying that there were any bad calls. I think that New Zealand you know, should have actually been penalized more in that game, like we said. But um, they have to learn the different refs. And I think it's it's all about studying. I mean, when you hey, play... Matt, we also took rugby, a long time, man. We took a long time during yeah. the URC. The URC, the whole first half of the season, we were struggling with the, with, with the way the refereeing had changed. I, I mean, we're not saying it's a bad way to referee. It, it It's just different. It is different Absolutely. the way that... Um, but they do have a, a Southern Hemisphere ref for this game, though. They got no, well, then that, that might suit that might suit New Zealand even more. So that's what I'm yeah. saying. So I, it will be a little bit evened out then with the crowd and then the ref. So mm. it's going to be interesting. And then, what's your thoughts on uh, Scott Barrett, Scott Free? Scott Barrett got off Scott Free, eh? Um, look, yeah, I'm glad we're not playing them again then, because I would have been a bit mad. I, I am a little bit, um, you know. End of the day, the rules are the rules, and um, you know, a South African player would get cited for that, and and probably get a three three match ban. I was expecting to at least get a one match ban. Um, you know, if you watch the New Zealand rugby pundits, oh, what what a that was just pathetic. Did you watch the, the Did you watch their show? I watched a did full it? hour of it, and all they did was rant and rave about the bunker and this and that. What a joke! What an absolute joke! Um, but going into it, I, I think that he should have got at least a one-week ban because he knew what he was doing. He was aiming for the head, and he knew what he was doing. He was targeting marks, and nobody can tell you anything different if, unless they're blind. Um, so, but it is what it is. We're not playing them, so it doesn't really bother me that much. If anything, I'm glad he's playing so that they've got a stronger, you know, a stronger side against France. Um, yeah. I hope Frizzell's back in the starting 15. I haven't, I haven't heard, heard anything, but I'm also hoping so. Um, at flank, mm. definitely need a result out there. Yeah, I hope he's back because he would have been a game changer in our game as well. That was a big. I also think so. Yeah, it was uh, massive. I mean, yeah. they field the strongest team they could, but without Frizzell, it's still you know. Uh, you need that flanker. That man's mm. tackling and his his off the ball running is just fantastic. You know? I was almost thinking like he's almost got that Khaleesi effect. I know he's not the captain, but it's almost like the intensity that he brings to the game. He just lifts every other player up with him. Yeah, the confidence that they get from him standing next to you brings Ooh, it alone. Absolutely. That... Yeah. So yeah, it's, um, it's going to be interesting. Definitely. I think that I'm very, very excited for this game. Lucas, keep quiet, please. Um, I think I'm very excited for this game. And uh, yeah, I still think New Zealand will take it um, by 10 points. People are going to yep. think I'm absolutely crazy. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, do you like my new microphone? Very nice, Matt. Yeah, Very somebody nice. said somebody... So, going back to the scoring, because you want to keep on skipping me out of certain things. Dude. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, dude, man. I'm... Carry on. You just got to butt, butt in. You just got to shut me um, up. So, what is your final score there? Before we move on to your microphone, what, what is, what is your Zealand, final score? New Zealand by 10 points. Yeah, but on what scoreline, though? No. New Zealand by 10 Okay, I'm going to say 24-17 <laughs> to New Zealand. 24-17. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's where I'm going to go. Okay. I don't, you know, that, a lot sounds, of be that sounds safe. That sounds safe to me. I don't think you know, it's going to be I, a crazy high-scoring game. A lot of people say that New Zealand had a very bad game, that last one against the Springboks, but I don't see it that way. The defense was immaculate. I don't know if mm. France is going to be able to put... the. Um, New Zealand under that amount of pressure to be pushing for 13, uh, for them to be playing with 13 players. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, but that's a key factor that we haven't spoken about. What happens with discipline in this game? Games are won nowadays based on reds and yellows. 
And, yeah. you know, reds and yellows are being dished out like left, right, and center here. It's like Oprah's school here. Everybody gets a red. Everybody gets a yellow. Um, yeah. and, and I think discipline this World Cup is going to need to be. It's, it's going to be insane. The, the best of anything. You can't, you can't get away with anything anymore. You can't. There's like seven the guys in a bunker looking at every play individually, every replay, every stoppage. They're going back, looking over clips, looking for foul play. It's um, not just that, though. The, the rules have also changed extremely in the last, let's say, since 2007 World Cup. You don't get away with things softer. like this anymore. It has become a little bit softer. But, I mean, the thing is, you also want your, your good players to last a, a, like 10 years. You don't want them to be out in three years. Yeah, no, definitely. Listen, I, I, I'm saying the game's a bit soft, but I don't want to be at the bottom of that rock. Yeah. Definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. I think I'll cry. Yeah, so that's my take on it. I'm not too sure about Jordy Barrett, if he'll be in. They said that he was suffering from an injury, he might miss the opener. But like I said, no one's really giving you the proper um, information to tell you exactly what's going on. No one's showing their hand. So it's going to be very interesting when, when the squad does come out to see exactly who will be playing. Listen, I think that, yeah, I think that when push comes to shove, the team should be announced probably latest by, for me tomorrow evening because that'll be Thursday morning for yeah. you. Yeah. Um, so I'm very excited to see the teams. I really hope Frizzell is in there. And um, yeah, I hope Dante's in because that'll be a game changer as well for France. I hope you're Definitely. right. Definitely. You know? Definitely. Um, but you never know nowadays with the mind games and this and that and the next thing and the niggles and the Villy LaRue coming out and the 7-1 split. And, so you never know what's going on in these coaches' heads. And um, like I said, very excited. Can't wait to get to it. Um, what else? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's about it. I think that we, we've cleared up most of what we can, and I think that we'll just do a... a, a... Oh, now you want to talk about your mark. Let's do it. <laughs> Dude, I've got, I swear I've got ADHD, bro. <laughs> no, no, I can see that. I can see it. <laughs> no, somebody commented in one of our videos to fix the audio. So I bought this mic, and I just want to know, you guys must go and, and watch you know our previous videos and tell me if my audio is any better. Um, Brent yeah. says it sounds the same. It probably will. It dep- I suppose it also depends on, on the headset. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know so much about ADHD. I think more verbal diarrhea is probably what verbal you Verbal diarrhea. Got. I talk shit. I know. Everyone knows. Yeah. You see, I think that's go about look at all the comments. Game. Everyone knows I talk shit. That's how this that's works. It. I'm glad that know. you cleared up that camper van situation. I'm not homeless. I have a home. <laughs> <laughs> I have a home, guys. I'm not homeless. I haven't got a button up shirt to go with my home. You know. I can see. Um, See you dressed up for today. Yeah, I've got a meeting later. All right, okay. boy. But yeah, oh, Fra- uh, France, New Zealand coming up. Very excited. 9 p.m. in France on uh, Friday night, opening game of the World Cup. We will be here. Um, we're going to cover next uh, the, the Springboks in Scotland. Yeah. And um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for us throughout the World Cup. Hit the like button, please, guys. It helps us out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Stick with us. If you have any recommendations, if you if you want us to cover anything else, let us know. We try to be accommodating. Like I said, somebody said we need to fix the audio. So I'm accommodating. You know, we, we're putting in an effort and we, we're enjoying doing this. So, yeah, stick around. 100%. And I have verbal diarrhea, apparently. So I just thought I'd just add it in there. <laughs> Sweet, buddy. Cheers, bud. Chat later. Ciao, ciao, bye. Bye. bye.